In January 2024, I was just parked behind that fence there, awaiting a vessel to show up in Port Coburn for its very, very last time. I'd never seen a ship being retired before, didn't know what to expect. I never watched the ceremony or in fact, there was not, not even a ceremony, but there was quite a few people here to watch this particular vessel come in to Port Coburn for the very last time. And I'm standing right here on a quite a mild January day. So this video is just to show you what's happened over the past 10 months since that ship's arrived. I'm talking about the Algoma Transport, the retirement of the Algoma Transport, and the scrapping of the Algoma Transport here at Port Coburn Marine Services. On January the 8th of 2024, the vessel Algoma Transport sailed into Port Coburn under her own power for the very last time. She had been in service since 1979, meaning it was nearly 40 years old by the time of its retirement. Over time, the vessel had experienced wear and tear from harsh operating conditions, particularly in the Great Lakes, where factors like ice, storms, and fluctuating water levels accelerated the deterioration along with the cargoes of salt that she once transported. The scrapping of the Algoma transport at Port Coburn symbolized the end of a long and productive career for the vessel. Algoma Transport was being scrapped because it was no longer economically viable to operate due to its age, high maintenance costs, and inability to meet modern environmental and operational standards. The Algoma Transport is being recycled at the Marine Recycling Corporation. This company is one of the leaders in North America when it comes to dismantling and recycling ships. They specialize in environmentally safe disposal of vessels, ensuring that materials like steel are recycled and that hazardous materials are handled properly. The Algoma transport was brought to Port Coburn, where it was methodically broken down by the recycling company. Throughout the year, I visited Port Coburn on numerous occasions, and in the last couple of months, I've actually videoed uh, the stages of it being dismantled. And this is what it's up to. And this is what is left of the vessel Algoma Transport.
Over the past 10 months, myself, along with many other photographers and videographers, have been following the dismantle of this vessel. And through our lenses, I hope you've enjoyed the footage that many of us have provided over the past 10 months as Algoma Transport is slowly recycled and goes on to another life somewhere. I hope you've enjoyed these videos, and this, particularly this last video I'm doing on this ship. Um, it's been a great journey. Uh, I got quite attached to the vessel when I saw it come into port on that 8th of January earlier this year. And over the winter, I saw it just sat here doing nothing. Nothing was happening to it for a long time. And then around about May, June, then the work started. And it really came evident very quickly in the summer that this ship was going to be literally completely gone with a matter of months. All that's left now is the stern. The, the bow is virtually gone. Uh, the center is gone. Basically, it's just this that's left now, the very back of the ship. Until the next wonderful ship that comes in here to be salvaged, I'll see you uh, when that shows up, whenever that may be.